Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. It's a Thursday for me. It's morning time for me. Kind of a darker morning. Takes longer for that sun to wake up, doesn't it? Excuse me. Welcome. It's me, Wingy Schneebe, Majeki Quay. Your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water, medicine woman. Also, Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All oh, this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome, all you beautiful divine beings, right here too. How goes it with you on this beautiful day? Whatever day this is, right? It's a beautiful day. I will make it so. How is that there for you? How goes? How goes? Yep, still in the flow time. That's what you see. Her. I share. Nice and raw, going through those cycles, and I ain't gonna hide it. Well, you know, I ain't gonna go show it either. <laughs> I ain't gonna deny it, right? So, has an effect. We all go through cycles, all of us, man or woman. And what we've been looking at this week, honoring that woman energy in us all, honoring the creative energy in us all. Looking for what lights our fire, right? I love that post and Gord Rydell, the the founder of of uh, Transformational Arts College. It's awesome. He just put a post out there too. Um, it's a quote, not from him, but you know, sharing that quote that um, not not asking for what the world needs from you, right? Because what the world, you know, see, find what makes you come alive. Because that's what the world desperately needs is more people to come alive. Right? So finding that passion and find what makes you feel alive. 45.30 is all I got on here. That's what it says. Is that I got left for my recording times. I don't know if my video changed or something there. I don't know, but let's just dive right into her. We'll just do our dailies. Overalls and see where we can go with this. Therapy Thursdays. Go on those deep dives. Help us out when we went into that woo I wild unknown Wednesday yesterday. Had the mother card come up, right? Finding that gift inside. What is it that lights our fire, makes us come alive? Because that is what the world needs. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the ether, path of illumination and clarity, place of fire, place of man. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the south. Oh, childhood, the innocence. Oh, the waters, the emotions. Oh. <laughs> And calling back all of our energies from the West, the Earth, the physical, the woman, place of introspection. Calling back all of our energies from the North, the air, the mental, the wisdom years. Walking this red road, our Earth walk, we go from South in childhood, right? Hopefully we have that support and nourished and have these boundaries to develop and who our unique beings are. And we're not being molded, but guided. Hmm. What is that? So did our allies and support help us in that way or did they no 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 the way you speak is wrong you need to speak this way what is that i don't know up to those wisdom years and we see the roots that giving and hopefully we give back we want to create a solid foundation for those especially if we hadn't had it ourselves we can go out and teach ourselves we learn that's that's the highest wisdom once we get up to those wisdom years we know we know nothing we learn nothing so for patterns and cycles, we need to step outside of that and those roots and, and, and not try to be the same as everybody else. Every tree, that forest, is different, yet they all help and support each other. All those root, roots are connected and entwined. They support and love each other just the way they are. You know, the apple tree doesn't look at the pine and says, I'd love you if only you could grow some apples too. All right. If we all had the same thing, that would be boring. That's why we have complementing energies, not completing energies. It's complementing because we are full and complete as we are with all creation, right? East to West is that brutal Lord of Spirit, that fertility, tapping into that. We're born through that Eastern gate, right? But we're tapping into that creativity. What's what wants to be born through us, right? Man, woman, we're still giving birth to our ideas, our art projects, Whatever that is, whatever that is for you, giving birth to a whole new you, <gasps> ooh, 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 right? East to west, the blue red of spirit, right? When we do that introspection, it's that passion. Spontaneity is different than impulsivity. 
right? Because that takes some forethought, that spontaneity. But we're trying to find that passion. What lights our fire? Going with that. Hmm. Above. <sighs> Below. <sighs> and within. Whoop. There we are. Spread them, spread them, spread them, spread them, spread them, spread them around, spread them, spread them to the other side of town, whatever. Boop, 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 doo. Mm hmm. Life's been good to me so far. What is that one? Joe. Cochran, Cochran. Oh, who is that? Life's been good to me so far. <laughs> Cochran? Is that Joe Cochran? I don't know. I don't know. I love that. I don't know why. It's okay, 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 okay. Here we go, okay. Okay, how do we go? That's all lined up together, no. And within. Now it is. Now it is. Okay, now it is. Put it up there and wait for us there. There be Thursdays. What are we looking at today? Today, today. Excuse me. Oh, look at that. The original source, right? What is your idea of that original source? What were you taught? What were you told? And that is the great mystery. Embracing that unknown. I guess I need to light the candle up there. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, let me get the match here. No, you can't see those up there. It's so dark in here today. So dark. Oh, there we go. The great mystery, the original source, right? The audio. Ah, that's one of our fights there. The original source. Oh, male, female, la, la, la. Like, like, okay. We're not in competition. I love that. Why can't we look at it as though? It's human. We're all human. We're all being human here. Making it up as we go along, my dears. Yeah, it's kind of how it goes, huh? Here we go. Can you see those okay now? It's so better. I don't know. You can read it, right? The Great Mystery. That's what that is. The Black Panther. In the Great Mystery. Embracing that unknown, right? So we don't know. What's it going to be like if we lived from that fullest, wholest version of ourselves? What would it be like if we just just let it out? That little thing inside us, let me out. I want to do this. I want to shine. Please, can I shine? Is it my time? What is that? Embracing that unknown. What would you do if you could do all that you dreamt of? I don't know. What is that? What we're trying to say here, we're tapping into that original source of who we are, what we learned, embracing that unknown. And what will we do? We can't go back and change anything, but we can reparent that little child. What did that little need? Embracing that unknown. So how would that child have grown if it was given everything that it needed? That love, compassion. And you know what? It's never too late. We can reparent that that little inside us now. You know, look in that mirror, look into your eyes, look deep into that child within you. Say all those things that that child needed to hear. 
give that child what that child needed and not in that material things in that love and support be the biggest support and ally to your inner child what is that embrace the unknown what if you did that we think that we're selfish right oh that's another it's another thing i posted right when you're used to you know being quiet standing up for yourself seems aggressive or something like that used to being passive assertiveness feels like aggression so like our comfort zones aren't a good measure for us because what have we been told what have we been taught put up and shut up so if we're not putting up and shut up when we're feeling ashamed of ourselves because then we're not doing what we were taught and told Brace said unknown speak out step out just do a little thing just do a little thing little thing to accept you you know when you look in the mirror don't look at the critical parts don't look with criticizing if you're watching yourself in video don't criticize yourself Look at that beauty. Kind of take yourself out of that for a second. Okay? As another human being. You're a human being. Part of this creation. And it is so beautiful. You belong here. Yes, you do. We all do. How do you know? You're here. Is your heart beating? Are you breathing? Are you walking this earth? You belong here. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Well, they can. But, hey, anybody can tell you anything. It's what you believe. Right? We can take things in, but don't take them on. Mm, mm, what is that? Mm, reflections. Reflecting on that. Deep and dive inside into that introspection. That's Sundance. That's self-sacrifice. We're making ourselves sacred. Right? To, to dedicate our whole selves in the service of great oneness divine, whatever that is. Right, but do we retreat? We think we've got nothing. So we don't make ourselves sacred. We don't feel sacred. But everything that creators made is sacred. Especially you. So let's look at that. And sometimes we do need to retreat. Are we trying to push, push, push to be something that we're not? If it's not working out for us, maybe we're banging at something that's not meant for us. So if that door's not opening, maybe it's time to move on, right? We need to accept no, not try and change those no's because we've learned about this manipulation. Next opportunity, you know, don't take no for an answer, but yet we need to. So we need to mean no and we need to mean yes. And that needs to be accepted. But we need to practice those instead of being in a world where it's changing people's minds. I'm going to convince you. I'm going to convince you. That's not making yourself sacred. That's not honoring you. That's not honoring others either. Oh, I love you, but you need to change this and change that. Okay, and then we can get along. Fine. Okay, no, we don't change ourselves for anybody. We be around those. We're just being our whole authentic self. Some will just naturally fall away. Unless we go chasing them back. You know, if there's something that's naturally transitioning out of your life, let's not try to grab that back. There's something we've released, let's not give it back. You're taking too long with that. Let me do it myself. Okay? Let it work through you. We don't do anything. Nothing on our own. It's that great mystery working through that, that original source. So embracing that unknown. Consider yourself as sacred, your life as sacred. Retreat. Look back at that. Look at the sacredness of your life. Look at the miracle of birth. I mean, maybe you don't even have to look at yours, but look at what it takes to become human, for that human to be in this world, to be walking this earth. That's a miracle in itself. It's beautiful. Okay, and then we're moving on to the action. We take, we're taking these actions. We're looking. We've retreated. We're seeing inside. Our self is sacred. We're honoring our mothers, Mother Earth, man, woman. We're honoring that feminine, creative side inside of us. And what do we do with that? What are we going to do with it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. We make decisions. Gather around. Look at our boundaries. Have we put those boundaries down in discerning, right? If these not respecting my boundaries, these are the ones I'm transitioning out of my life. Why am I trying to keep hold of people that continually disrespect my boundaries or make me feel bad for having boundaries? Like I don't have a right to have boundaries. You know? 
And we should all have those boundaries. Like if we're not spoken to with respect, you know, if we're constantly treated like we're second rate or less than, maybe we need to make a decision and a discernment that this is time to move on to something else. Wish them all love, right? But maybe we've learned all we can from that situation or relationship and it's time for us to move on. What is that? These are the actions and the decisions that we take. Are we 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 um, loosening up boundaries for the sake of somebody else? I've had that and I've dealt with that a lot where people have done things that have hurt my feelings. I'm human. I had the human reaction and then I get attacked for having that human reaction. You know? If you're feeling guilty for something, is somebody making you feel guilty? Or is that your healthy consciousness coming up saying, ah, you've done something here. Um, you need to make right or you need to make up for or at least apologize genuine and show some actions, not just the words. Right? Because we'll naturally have these things. We're not going to feel good about hurting anybody else. So if we've done something, it's time to face up to that because that's where we all feel better. Pick up that phone. Go see somebody face to face. You know, stop avoiding confrontations. But we need to confront it in ourselves first. So we're not going and projecting at anybody else. But we're confronting in ourselves first. Are these the boundaries? What were my expectations here? Right? I always say, ah, nobody breaks my heart. I break my own heart. We do. It's what our expectations are. It's not love that hurts us. It's our own expectations of it. True love does not hurt. It helps us grow. Helps us grow. If it's hurting, it's not true love. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go, there we go. We're not going to get through this. I know, I know. Just turned to 17. It was inner peace. We need to find that in ourselves, right? Calm. So we're not just going out and reacting. We have a response. We're not just reacting everything that we've seen before. All these cycles we see that don't, that don't really help, that hurt more. See these cycles that hurt more. Who can change that? You can change it in you. I can change it in me. We can't do it in anybody else. Nope, nope, it's an inside job, inner peace, right? We get that when we connect to that original source inside. And we don't scrutinize any de every detail that we don't even make a move. One, two. We take those steps. But sometimes we sit in that fear, we him and ha, we don't even make a move. But what is it, you know? What is it? Is it something that since you were a child that says, oh, I got to do this when I grow up. Oh, I want to do that. Hey, maybe you've already been on that path and you don't even realize it. Your life has already helped you to become an expert in that field or whatever. What is that for you? Tapping into that original source, embracing the unknown of being who we truly are, who we were made to be. It's not who everybody said we should be. Right? It's not it's not blending in with everybody else. It's 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 just standing out, not to outshine anybody, not for the attention, but for letting that light out. For whoever it's there for. For you, first and foremost. But maybe you're the one light that one person needs. And if you're not shining it out, that one person is missing out. Maybe. I don't know. What is that for you? One card. Bring us more clarity on that. And that is the discipline of attraction and preparation. This is what we're doing. We've all got a purpose here. Your life has been preparing you for that. The great mystery. Embracing that unknown. Looking back. Survived 100% of everything that you have gone through. Right? Are you growing wiser or bitter? Right? Are you growing into the not knowing? Are you growing? I know, I know, and I know, and you can't tell me because I know. Because remember, those who say they know, don't. The ones who say they don't know, know. Right? That was in our one of our cards yesterday. So this is what life has been doing. The mystery has helped us, in preparing us for this. This discipline, balancing that male and female energy. We need it all. Creative energy and doing. Right? We get that idea, those thoughts. Those creative things, that's the female energy. When we go out and implement them, that's the male energy, the doing. 
So we need to stop. That's where all fighting and everything, separation, divide and conquer, all that begins with that war of the sexes, men and women. We need them both. There cannot be one without the other. Humanity does not continue without them both. Creation needs both. All through the animal kingdom, everything, look at that. Needs both male and female. Hmm. So, let's see that inner lies. Discipline, attraction, and preparation. That's what your life has prepared you for. That's the great mystery, embracing that unknown. What does all this mean? Let's look back at that life. What has your life been guiding you for? What have you been trained for? What have you been built for? What have you been refined by? What experiences have refined you and made you more of that expert on you? Your area of expertise is still, right? Even if we go through abusive relationships, doesn't make us an expert on everybody's experience in that. No, we've had a personal experience of something that's common. But even our personal experience, right, it can help us to understand that sometimes this stuff just don't make sense. And it doesn't have to make sense to us. You know, it's the one that went through that. We just need to be an ally and support for that. Retreat if we're going to judge somebody. Self-sacrifice. And sometimes that's what we do. We think, oh, we deserve this. Right? So we're channeling that light. We retreat. The apprenticeship of pipes. That's the fire. The passion. Right? We're getting in touch with that. We channel that light. That's how we make ourselves sacred. Because we're opening up to that divine flow and letting it flow through us. Praying for that inner peace and knowing that we are not doing this alone. We're channeling that light, channeling those messages. Whatever that is for you. However you want to look at that. But we're retreating. We're honoring. And we're letting that light in us shine out. Right? We're not keeping it hidden anymore. I'm here. I'm here. Here to me. Roar. Sometimes we need to do a quiet one. Maybe it's just a little purr. Sometimes you need to roar and let it out. Not at anybody in particular. Just to let that hit the wind. Put your intentions out there. A little buffalo call. Woo! Huh? What do, what do you need? Right? Then we go and make those decisions. Then we take those actions based on that. As we get in touch, we see that we are sacred. Look, there's a female and male. We're balancing those energies inside. We're retreating. We see that we have both. And not one side of us is worse than the other. So we need to accept that all in ourselves. Okay? Of, oh, right? <laughs> the decisions, the boundaries. What are our boundaries? Are we just out there to say, this is how I identify, or this is just who I am? Do we go out to, to say who we are? Let's just show it. We just show it. We just be who we are. Just be. There's no need to prove anything to anybody. The minute you start to prove something, then well, then you're trying to prove something. And it's not coming from the genuine wholeness. This. This is who I am. This is who Creator made me to be. This one. Attainment. The dancer. Right? When we make those decisions and we have those boundaries, right? Then we're on top of the world. That is the world card. The 21. Dancer in the winds of time. If we allow that to flow. We see that? See the woman energy up there? We need to honor that and raise that instead of men squashing everything. We're all being human here. Right? Yeah, we are. Man or woman. Oh, I just watched the Sanguru. The reason you should not wear short skirts, just for one reason. He's like, I'm not telling anybody what to wear. Sanguru. Yeah, that was very cool. Because I don't need to know what's in anybody's pants, he says. We don't need to know, so do we need to go show everybody what's in our pants? It's not about that. It's being who we are. But we're getting so hooked up and so lost in identifying self-identifying this that we're not just being who we are we're trying to identify ident huh putting a dent in it are we putting a dent in it let's just be who we are instead of arguing and then we're going out trying to prove who we are again if you're trying to prove something you're trying to prove something it's not just coming naturally from that wholeness Whoo! But when we just naturally let it flow, we just groove to our own beat, dance to our own rhythm and internal timing. Mm. Attainment, enlightenment, whatever that is. 
for you. That's a win we're moving to. And those decisions are in the highest and best interest of all. Because if we're making decisions because we're based on somebody else, right, or wavering our boundaries, whatever, but when we stick to those boundaries, yeah, we're going to reach an attainment. We're going to see that we're worthy of that too. We're not making decisions based on because of the reacting, what we were trained, what we were conditioned to do. We're actually going deep inside, praying, connecting with that source inside, not scrutinizing every little details, looking at the details, but not chewing them all to bits so that we don't even make a move. But we're connecting to that original source through those prayers. That's how we receive that attainment, right? Because we're channeling that source through all that knows what's best, who's got the higher perspective, who knows what's best for creation. No, I don't know. I don't know. What do you believe? All right, and then we have, we take command, form and order. That's the emperor. Taking command for the good of all. We take command of our own lives. That's not commanding anybody else. Taking command of our own lives and aligning it with the divine, whatever that is for you. For the highest and best interest of all. That's a number four on that stability see we have that four up here it's that stability that's what we're looking for but we're afraid to get swept away in our passions in our dreams because that's like a loss of control but we can't control everything we are not in control at all that's the biggest illusion is that we are actually in control hmm. even of our own minds that takes work we're not even in control of our own minds have a look for that yourself that's a truth Deep, 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 deep truth. Who's under that? We want to just take a look. See? The, 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 the thunder. Ah, and there's the healing. Look at those major arcanas with us. Look at those there, right? And then bounty. Overcome doubt by action. And then we have our bounty here. Right? The exemplar bowls for the harvest, full ha harvest. We have that. Expression, fertility. So find that expression in yourself, right? Healing that. Breaking those towers. And we see what we fell for. Not in a shame, blame, or anything like that. And then we let ourselves get swept away in our passions, in our dreams. What lights your fire? What lights you up? Because that's what the world desperately needs more of. More people that are alive and sharing from those life, from that life. Not from that heavy darkness. Oh, oh, it's me. Everyone's out to get me. Nothing ever works. And oh, yeah. We're all just going to hell in a handbasket. Whatever. You know? What's your attitudes on that? What is your beliefs? Can you let them go? Or are you hanging on to them? Because this is what we've always believed. This is just how we've always done it. So this is what we'll always do. <sighs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Begin with him. Right? Peace on earth begins within you, me, everybody. But if you're not finding that in you, you're not praying your peace, you're not taking command of your life, you know, for the good of all. Mm hmm. There's one person, right? Hmm. I don't know. You choice. You get to choose. Okay? Love yous. Tap into that passion, that fire. You've got it in you. And this world needs it. So... Biggest heart hugs ever. Thank you for being you. Shining your light through in everything you do because you know what? This world needs you to be you. Fully, holy, and true. Or the world misses out, right? On that gift that is you. You. Coming alive. Doing your passion. Being swept away in that. You know you're following that because time just seems to go. Just like that. Time flies when you're having fun. Huh? You don't even notice any change of time. That's how you know. Those are little little hints, little signs. Hmm. Anyways. Love you. Empower. Empower. Not overpower. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you.